Hello, my sweet friend. It's Thursday night, so as usually I do, I will do some kind of nail art. Uh, pretty sure you figured it out. I started doing uh, nail art, but uh, I uh, love it. And always I try different kind because I know a uh, customer looking for different design and for inspiration, that kind of uh, uh, classes what I'm doing and teaching you guys is for inspiration. And if I doing only same uh, these uh, technical ways, maybe you don't get inspiration. So I just thinking of which one is the most uh, time related and because it's Eastern uh, holiday coming and it's cute, I figured it out. Sometimes it's better if I don't painting too serious flowers, I just do something cuties. So today I will painting little bunny bat <laughs> because sometimes customer uh, asking for cutie things. Of course you can do uh, really on advanced level or just the easy one and I will show uh, how to do, okay? I will do one of uh, like I did a sophisticated background. It's a teacup. It's old fashioned teacup or breakfast <laughs> something. And the bunny will be uh, jumping in, okay? But you can do just simple uh, used a s uh, one kind of color background and add on it. Hold on, hold on. I just looking for the tip. Yeah, that is a kind of a vintagey uh, like kind of cup or something like that. Of course, you can imagine it's a little bit bigger because the little bunny just jumping in because looking for the eggs. I don't know you guys uh, celebrating the the Eastern. I'm Hungary and I'm from Hungary and uh, we do and the eastern is always about flowers about uh, eggs so we eating a lot of version of the eggs like hard boiled uh, or whatever and uh, of course meat <laughs> and the kids hunting for chocolate eggs in the garden or they just coming and uh, asking the neighborhood like like uh, like Halloween here in United States. So it's a fun and I love it and usually we eat a lot. So after uh, Eastern is one two day <laughs> straight diet because we have to make balance, right? So I do a simple version too, okay? So quick and easy, bunny, bunny, cutie, funny designs. What about that? Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I was planning to do like the snowball flower because that is easy to and I think it's just great time or I do the bunny in the cap so I do the bunny today and because of uh, Eastern holiday I will not doing live video on Saturday but I doing recording tonight so we'll be on the YouTube channel uh, in premiere so I will be there, I will be uh, commenting and if anyone asking something I will be able to answer and just say hi hello. Uh, but it will be ha uh, recorded, that means I will just keep pyjama party all day on Saturday. So by this reason I think that I will do in Saturday the flower and today just a bunny bath. <laughs> Oh, and when I was a child, always I got uh, borrow uh, the bunny. So my family uh, let me borrow, which means we don't buy and we don't throw away. So my family, my father asking uh, from the farm. So just for a couple of days, I was able to play with them and kissing them. And uh, after, of course, because it's not good place with us, because I was teeny tiny, I was not able to take care of. So after that, uh, we just uh, give it back to them and the bunny wo uh, was beautiful life after that. At the end, I don't know, okay? 
at the end I don't know <laughs> but I didn't make anything negative to them I just pat them I don't re uh, really know uh, which base I want to the simple bunny 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 uh, I think I will use the 16 which is a really really pretty color it's a powdery powdery pink okay so I will use that color that from the pure and I just applying quickly a base hi Angela hi Alicia hi Cindy hi Karen hi Lila hi to everyone you guys hear me I see uh, someone doesn't hear me I want to make sure mm -hmm. okay I see you guys here okay always you can uh, let me know if uh, sometimes I'm going out from the zoom of the camera because don't forget it I'm playing for two cameras make sure uh, on the YouTube I have a full HD uh, quality uh, recorded video because most of the nail sisters <laughs> just put it on the TV so you can launch on the TV the YouTube and you can watch it big uh, on the big surface so you can see any teeny tiny details what I'm doing included the boo-boos what I make <laughs> so let's go to the bunny the but always when you do nail art no matter which kind of nail art rose or especially if you do something what the customer must have to recognize okay do a skits before like i am doing skits for the snowball that that will be the other version what i will doing okay or how looks like the bunny the bud of the bunny okay because you talking with the customer because um because anything can happen okay so just do a quick uh, skits with your pen and keep it front of you so you will remember how it looks like but for example if the customer talking i will forget it how many little legs uh, the legs okay i know two legs but you know the toes or you know <laughs> the fingers or how is the position of uh, the little pompon you know that part if three-dimensionally she is jumping in okay so that is always help i will show always when i do because uh, normally i don't show to you guys but honestly i want to share everything because if i'm doing in the salon i do same honey you you must have to help yourself why are you asking anyone to help to you if you don't help to yourself okay so <clears throat> let's go that the matte base i used uh, of course uh, the confetti silver top underneath white confetti silver top and matte and on the surface i just painted quickly like a cup or like uh, something must have to jumping into right so i painted that but you can painting anything else it, it's a vintage uh, uh, little teacup okay i call teacup but whatever you don't have to fully do details because it's just part visible of that and generally in the center will be the bunny so here i will cover it anyway okay you see i don't finish that one too even because she will jumping in okay so what i need for sure i need the matte surface right now i just used the uh, uh, quickly coated with top to make sure you see because after when it's matte you don't see how will be the end so i'm using the pure matte top coat which is non vibe you are happy angel i'm happy to you too <laughs> hi andy hi Staffy. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate uh, your companies uh and i hope you guys will enjoy and i try to answer every question what i see so here is the little um, silver confetti top so you see it's shiny but at the end i don't need shiny because it just will be too much and will uh, dominant 
over dominate dominant <laughs> overpowering and i want uh, the customer see the bunny butt okay not the anything else and if you're using on the confetti silver the matte top coat will be really good for the base it's like uh, plain like a little bit smoky something non-recognizable i really love as is just simple using the one coat of the confetti top and use a matte top on uh, the surface so i i put it into the lamp and let cure Honestly, I can start uh, painting on over uh, only just 30 second curing time, okay? Because we'll cure together. So I have to figure it out which colors I want to use for bunny. Uh, I will use chocolate for sure, because always when I do shadows, I'm using uh, not only the black one. Okay, so I'm just applying chocolate and... Uh, those are the Picasso gels. Someone who doesn't uh, know yet. I'm using black. That quantity that I'm using is too much, okay? I just because I have a lot. So I think the bunny will be grayish, okay? So that way I start, I'm really using the artist today and I will using um, uh, the Picasso just to painting. Okay, first, where is my, don't forget it, I'm using the pre-designed uh, something. Sometimes I just cheating and I make different because the shape is give me different things, but uh, it's honestly, it's help, it's help a lot. So I create a round first. It will be white. Why? Because I want to cover it, this uh, base color, which is powerful, especially here. Okay? doesn't have to be perfect at the first time, but try approximately a circle around the shape. Okay, first I just fill with the, the color. Mm -hmm. And right now, if it's not balanced, it's not nice curved, I make curving again. Okay, I'm using a, th a really, really thin layer, okay? Because anyway, I will painting on. Okay, and I will need the little legs. I tried to create already the three, div uh, dividing for three parts, you see that? No worry, that point I will modify. It. This will be a little bit bigger and the legs too. Not leg, is feet actually. What you see when she jumping in, it's already just a feet. I do more longer because she have a longer little feet and I try to make not to separate just a little bit separation not so much you see I feel the gap between Mm -hmm. 
Okay, something like that. So that is for sure what I will see and a little little part the extra for the little tail. You can do circle or rounded tail or you can do a little bit um, hairy. So I put it into the lamp and let cure. Okay, that will be not uh, difficult honestly doesn't have to take up behind you can just uh, pink and white nail or you know what I mean do not over stressed for sure okay and for example let's doing that I will use a little bit black and white because I don't need the full black And she will just jumping like this. Mm. Okay. That's it. Let quick curing. Okay, the next. <clears throat> for sure I want use the gray but I need lightening lightening mean the Picasso is super duper pigmented you know what I mean and I'm using the blush uh, brush cleaner because that gel is just help for shading shadowing I will use always that one because of the ingredients so I create a transparent version of the grayish because there will be multiple shadow and ca have to be hairy if two pastel color that mean uh, honestly it will be too cartoony which is okay but if you want a little bit realistic or cutie better if uh, if you do you use the multiple shadowing on for example a little tail I already let keep it clear and clear mean original white okay and I do gr painting to gray with little little strokes doesn't have to be smooth because it's better if hairy looks like hairy you know the hair of the four okay I need that really really light color of the gray at the first time mm -hmm. and I already started adding a little bit darker around the little uh, tail I hope uh, the good verse the tail for that so she have a little tail a little pom-pom actually okay I'm using the uh, brush cleaner gel and just tapping because that is first layer of the shadow to make three-dimensional design always use shadow and highlight don't forget it those are not colors those are just highlighting or shadowing make more pop up from the full image and the plus make like three-dimensional okay a teeny tiny I just tapping and uh, I let it don't smoothening out because I want like looks like four on her okay 
yeah that is the the shadowing okay which is make uh, really really uh, pop up so other things where will be uh, shadow for sure it's where the little legs okay okay just like that as first this is just help me to see where the hell is the <laughs> where, where I will painting the little pinky uh, like footprint you know what I don't even checked how they called on the rabbit the little bunny okay just teeny tiny tiny always I touch the brush cleaner because that let me fade beautifully as I want fade that one okay you already started seeing how it looks like originally was just a, <laughs> a big white spot right so this is how I start uh, drawing and let it pop up okay I try to don't move so you can see mm -hmm. cutie cutie so she's go back hmm. I do same again a little bit bigger so you will see better but on the teacup already have a size and the teacup was broken as I, I hope you see and I don't don't want to cover the broken part and this is why I was a little bit struggling to the size with the size okay for example I didn't do not make first time to perfect the legs okay the little feet because if you already messed up you make a wrong di uh, direction you have to wipe it off so I just a teeny tiny things I start and that show me I'm on the good direction or not so I have a chance to correcting right Mm hmm center two don't forget it I don't want to see like a petals so I will fill them to no gap between but generally as a size is I want to see like that have the center and a little bit lower going more deeper I hope it makes sense okay go in so she is back I just gentle wipe it the brush okay <clears throat> the next one I add more shadow where is shadow here I need more dimensional for sure I grab the brush cleaner gel And I tap, 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 tap. Mm -hmm. And I wash out if it's too much. So already no gray on my brush. This is how I can modify. Because that bunny is not dirty. It's just shadow. Okay? And if too much uh, dark, that means looks like she's dirty. I don't know why I thinking she it's a girl, but I just started calling she, so it's a girl. I 
I wash the brush to make sure it doesn't come in too much and doesn't generalize not too much of the shadow. Cute, cutie, cutie. Okay, next one. I will. Mm -hmm. I will add the little. I don't know. You know the center of the. The feet. It's pink. I do not make hundred percent perfect till the end. So that means I start painting less smaller design because this way I have a chance to correcting. If you do the full size, you must have to wipe it off if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I need uh -oh, something on my brush. Did I take it off? It's cute, bunny butt. <laughs> Thank you so much. Honestly, you know me. I do not really love the. I understand, but I do not enjoy the painting. Not you know, not sophisticated design or too simple. But if cute, I love it. Right. So, and that is, I think, is cute. I see a lot of people painting a lot of version of the uh, the rabbits, the bunnies. That is how I like. So it's cute, pinky, but because of the background, this will be a little bit uh, more cute to me. Because I want to enjoy too. That is the best part in my career. I can do what I'm enjoying, right? And I wish you feel the same way. Sometimes when they're just asking like pink and white, eh, I understand it's not really something what you can enjoy. But honestly, you can do really special uh, pink and white to use like a ballerina collection and add teeny tiny magic into the pink or the white to make special. Okay, and right now I make larger. So I add, make more wider or more longer if I feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think need, eh, uh, not this time. Yeah, uh, the ear, but whatever, she's just jumping in. <clears throat> yes, I always start a uh, smaller because this way I'm able to to correcting. Honey, you cannot do always perfect. Period. I can cannot. Because it's depending on our feeling and they have uh, migraine or not. We love the customer a lot or not. But sometimes when you love the customer, don't forget it, uh, can, be, um, can be a problem too. Because you guys laughing and chatting and whatever. So by this reason, you cannot concentrate as you honestly you need to make rounded shape or whatever you know what i mean and the customer she doesn't understand how you have to focus on what you do so by this reason i try to oh. i just wipe it back so i try to teach you how you can uh, safely make uh, pretty things Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that is the first four color. So she's back. 
Okay, what else I need? <coughs> mm -hmm. I will do contouring for sure. I'm using the black and I'm using the perfect line. I just try to oh it's freezed no looks like we're freezing <coughs> no we are not mm. so I'm using uh, actually I will switch to mm -hmm, the perf uh, fine days I wash in the cleanser and I'm using the black. Okay, because I right now I do the shape uh, oh, the shape to make more uh, visible. I mean, that is super thin lines. Okay. And that is a shadowed part. Mm -hmm. I just wipe it off because I forget it's simultan. I make the other. So already too much of the gray. And I use the brush cleaner and I just wash it back because it's just arrive too much right okay the little tail I do not full circle okay I use that just only where is in shadow Okay, I'm using and mixing with the cleanser gel because I need really, really light of the black, maybe a little bit more, but at the same time is light. And just teeny tiny. Not contour, uh, but looks like I do not make full circle. I just add a deepness. I just add kind of shadow. But because it's super microscopic, teeny tiny. This is why I mixed with cleanser gel to make sure it's not overpowering. Mm hmm and add the belly, little belly. Oh. Here we are. And the full body. You see, I do not contouring fully. I just do like partially to make more pop up. Mm -hmm. And I wipe it off. Mm -hmm. I will continue the little uh, cap because originally I was planning to painting bigger and I told you I didn't finished and because I do micro bunny 
I needed to contour the little cap. So let's cure. <coughs> and we are almost done. Bunny bunny. So in the little belly, the leg two side, because those are in shadow, and the little tail area. Okay. And I'm using the cleanser gel. And they do tappy tappy tappy. Honestly, I do not make smooth because it's more hairy, like four looks like it's better. Sometimes when I'm doing flower or something, yes, I make uh, really smooth uh, because that is how looks more better but sometimes like when you want 40 looks like it's better if just tap tap and do not make too much tap on the surface <laughs> okay so you don't have to do make uh, any extra background like like a teacup or whatever I just show how you can make easily on simple mm -hmm. I just wipe it back because I make too much of that uh-huh So, and what will be happening right now you can decide it will be full matte or will be full shiny sometimes I just can't decide so I just painting with shiny thank you so much you love it Debbie <laughs> I think it's cutie too and sometimes uh, I do not make too much cartoony things uh, but uh, but sometimes we just we just need customer asking for so I try to show, to me that is the easiest uh, uh, way to paint the Eastern design. Okay, she is here. Go back to the light. And I will add a little highlighting on the top to make more dimension now. She's go back. <coughs> A little leg again do not make the full size of what you want because this way you have a chance to correcting the size the shape the angle how you painted right Sorry, I'm just focusing the teeny tiny tone toes. One, two, three, one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Those are not difficult. Of course, you have to understand when, where you shadowing or highlighting and which color you use, because that is uh, the key. I see multiple uh, person who painting and they just using <laughs> everywhere. And there's no logic and uh, no color harmony. That mean uh, it will be flower or it will be bunny, but it never will be nice so important the color harmony and important uh, the theory of the three-dimensional painting I know it's not so easy it's not easy to teaching to honestly teaching color theory and three-dimensional in the nail art not in the 
the art school. Art school, they they learning for years, okay? For nail art, for me, a full day, just talking about and let practicing and make sure you understand where the shadow, where is the highlight, where is bigger the shadow, where is less the shadow, which color I'm using for shadow. So that is, I think, it's uh, important, but no worry, is uh, uh, just the additional extra what you can give. I promise uh, soon, not now, soon I will do uh, classes like not just simple uh, nail art i will do add like really uh, additional one so i'm using again the fine lace okay i wash out rolling out the gel and i'm using the white because right now i need a white and i add teeny tiny microscopic line well you know what i can add matte the food baby so you can just cover it with matte i do that let's see i'm not sure the good is, if I don't like matte, I'm able to remake and make shiny again. Let's see, I'm using again the matte top. Don't forget it, that is uh, super smooth, which is important, especially if you're painting on and uh, non-wipe. So I just try to, you know what, I need a brush. because I'm using teeny tiny quantity. Uh, don't worry, uh, I know it's freezing. I don't know uh, what's going on with the internet, but tomorrow the full tutorial will be available on the YouTube channel, so you can replay them. Sometimes I just joking, it's really joke with my friends how always when the internet is we lost that is the point when i i show the secret ingredients right <laughs> no it's just a joke <clears throat> unfortunately the internet is not uh, depending on me i'm using the more most powerful internet service in the united states which is not personal one is mean for the public and the business and even that sometimes we have a trouble so i'm sorry ladies but this is why good we have a youtube because you can watch back i just check smoothing out so go in because i will love the the like it looks like texturized because shiny matte shiny is uh, it uh, i think is really really good <clears throat> and let's start with dark on the bottom no i i painting right now the the other one because i don't want to wash uh the the white out you know what i do shadowing till that mm -hmm. i need here more shadow for sure and honestly with the shadow you can correcting the shape of the the little feet That is really needed to give uh, a deep depth, deepness of the. Just tap, 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 tap. 
Mm -hmm. I'm using the Picasso gels from Joann's. Those are highly, highly pigmented. So as you see, it's almost nothing on my brush. It's like almost nothing. When I contouring on my brush, you don't see so much. That is my contouring quantity because I, I'm able to do because it's super highly pigmented. And that is available all Joanne's uh, product. Oh, and I'm mixing with the cleanser gel, which is I'm born to cleaning the gel brushes and save the shape so you don't have to buy again and buy again and doing something like in the hospital. So, uh, but same time, because of the ingredient, it's helped me to spread uh, beautifully the, the, like when I shadowing. Okay. And everything is available at the joans.com, which is joans.com. So, ah, I love it. It's matte already. The little bunny is matte. So I just add highlighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so cute. <laughs> cute, cute. I hope it's visible with uh, on the, through the camera too. In the naked eye, it's just so freaking cute. <laughs> I already see the little legs, every detail. Sometimes when you do just simple on the with on the phone, it doesn't show up well. But when you launching on the TV, but usually I do. Uh, through the YouTube uh, will be every single detail is really visible and will pop up everything and you will see why I did but because sometimes if too small you just why is she working so much of that is not really visible no honey it's visible just maybe on the teeny tiny phone is not really Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, here is the broken part of the little cup. that part too and of course the bottom part too I do not do fully full contour just partial the part when I want more pop up mm -hmm. just wash back because I going out of the line so here we are she go into the lamp the cup in the class <laughs> yeah it's honestly <laughs> nah because Terry you tell me you love the cup <laughs> and you want to see on the class I tell you the truth I'm so happy today because I let ignore everything, every negative, everything in my life. And I enjoyed the day and I was not prepped. My table was messy, honestly messy. You see the previous <laughs> gel is already here. And I did not make pre-made. Usually when I do live video you remember i bring some as example this is ki this kind of what i will show blah 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 and today is just a check the time is like holy moly five minutes <laughs> almost not five minutes is like 10 minutes or 50 minutes okay and immediately i just oh okay bunny 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 but is always good and cute however i was not uh, 
idea how I do. So quickly I made, I think less than five minutes with curing time, that little cap. <laughs> so that is not really a master work. Now that I finishing. So it's mean just nothing, nothing, nothing special. Just I played with shadow and I'm using the chocolate color. And one secret spice, what I cannot tell, is a new baby. So uh, quickly I finish, because I won't finish that as a French, okay? Mm -hmm. I add highlighting to here. And right now I will need the um, shadow. So I just touch, I don't wash between the white and the, the black, but because generally I'm using the, the grayish color and I save time. super tiny okay other part a little bit deeper because the the French part will be pinkish and a little party you know I do like it like a zigzaggy look I just using the edge and I make like this and I will add the white furry things I'm using to light lightening me not color is mean the texture I'm using the brush cleaner because it's pink on the pink mm -mm. just a little bit like that and the one side of the pink part going and I will need the dotting too mm, I'm looking for my dotting tool here we are I'm using the road uh, shape of the dotting tool I just check back maybe have any question I'm happy you guys love I'm I feel really happy today <laughs> I just sometimes I just ignore and uh, and uh, the life what going on around me and I decide to be happy honestly and it's just depending on us 
and when it's happened that I'm just flying so I'm using the original color and I want to add a little bit more pink here and a little bit more darker pinky 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 mm -hmm. always like to use the original color what I'm used because that will provide to me color harmony most of the time and I add a little that a bit bigger I think so better I don't fix the the tip on the tip holder so it's a little bit moving but I love the challenge that can make me Why I don't use it directly the Picasso color? Because the Picasso color cannot uh, raise up. Okay, the Picasso have must have to be super flat. And that technique using with that thing too is make more uh, raised up designs. So I'm using the gel polish to to make sure I, I mixed. And I call it my brush because it's behind. Okay, make more wider. That is just partially, but it's visible how big the size or small. Okay, go into the lamp. Hmm. I just want to see back the questions. Yeah, honestly, till that cure, we cannot change the world, right? Uh, s life is beautiful, and we got always a new chance. We always, when I wake up first, I'm blessed because I got one more day. Honey, not everyone got one more day. Second, if I feel, oh, I have a pain here or I have a pain over there, I'm happy because that the proof i alive <laughs> if i'm died i don't feel any pain so do not stuck into any negative situation longer than serving your life yes sometimes you must have to thinking of sometimes you deserve to crying and feel sorry for yourself whatever but honestly as soon as possible get out of the situation and try painting something bunny cutie things okay I just read back uh, because uh, some of you guys know me and I always uh, try to balance myself I working on hard honestly it's not easy but it's something manageable and something what we can do just uh, just you have to decide to be happy even if something is doesn't going on the way as you feel you deserved and don't forget it everyone 
have a right everyone don't even just thinking she know better or she know the good honestly if she believed that means she have a right <laughs> it doesn't mean you have to follow so i just add little kind of contouring on the deeper uh, way on the bottom It's difficult because I'm, I'm really uh, do philosophy a uh, lo lot of time. This is, makes me happy and uh, uh, it's just really good to my soul and to my body. However, because it's English is absolutely not my first language, not my mother language, not even the second or even the third, actually one, two, three, that is the fourth language. I'm not able to uh, to describing things as I want so but I would just I hope you guys got it what I want to tell because uh, I practicing daily and this is why sometimes I'm I'm crying too of course I'm a human <laughs> I'm the normal people okay uh, but to stuck in the situation too long, more longer than uh, uh, is necessary, that is poisoning you. And uh, as I always told you and tell you, the art, included painting or music, it's always help. Okay, and one more thing, so I just quickly wipe it and I do mixing again the pink and teeny tiny uh, pink and the white. So honestly, have to be white, but not so white, a little bit pinkish. You know what I mean? I just mixed a little bit and drawing on the paper because I need thin lines And I add a highlighting to make sure it's dimensional, the dots too. Okay, honey, focus, focus. I just wipe it back because. Honey, I'm using super, super tiny quantity of the gel. And this is why you need the brush with this, this pointed brush. A little badass is just give you endless possibility of painting art on the teeny tiny nails. Honestly, sometimes people say, oh, how beautiful on canvas or whatever. On canvas, everything is easy okay if someone able to painting on canvas it doesn't mean able painting on that size okay honestly it's just not so we are all really really good artists because we not just even we can painting on we are able to painting on this size Okay, just if you don't painting uh, really uh, like sophisticated uh, background, you can do just cutie version is like halfway a line looks like she jumping into the little bunny and make a dot and the dots uh, of course looks better if it's three dimensional and is a teeny tiny things. Do not make all finger like that, honey. No, big no, because she cannot pay enough for that. Okay, 
so only one finger you give to the customer like a special uh, things like hand painting you want to be the model <laughs> for sure <laughs> Alicia, you didn't painted a month already? Sweetheart, you have to call me. For us, doing art is like a crack, okay? If you get inspiration, if you get the feeling you want a painting, no matter what happened, uh, no matter you don't have a customer or doing on or you don't have a tip, just grab the egg, okay? Or <laughs> painting on anything. Art is make your soul free and freedom is really necessary to your soul because naturally we born to free just we forget it okay or pe the life want we forget it and always you have to open your soul and let it fly okay and art like painting it's one of the it's maybe it's better than the meditation honey a lot of people do meditation and they oh i'm meditating and la 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 and so show as a that person is so stressful so it just doesn't help meditation just sitting and and uh, 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 no meditation when your uh, part of the brain is off and just the creativity just uh, manifesting and creating you be, you are a creator always when you do nail art on the customer nail you are a creator you got that talent at things to able manifesting and creating from God or from universe or whatever you believe okay you born to be able to do that and when the life is too messy and too much things or have pain or whatever always remember we naturally are happy so you have to come back to the happiness and what make you happy chocolate honey but you will be overweight okay so do not go back to chocolate always because you will be oversized okay and after coming the medical problems so no 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 chocolate go back to flying go back flying mean your soul flying that mean painting something lesson always lesson music i'm really really uh, sad because i'm not able to uh, listening music during the live video with you guys and i think it's just not fair but whatever it is what it is so uh, that is what make you happy and make you every time make you better artist better nail stylist okay so by this reason i do recommend to to always painting and do not make break even if no time time have if you want and don't forget it i i have a tough period too on different reason okay honestly i'm just regular normal people like you maybe a little bit older or more fatty but i'm like you okay and when i give couple minutes to break down even crying or something and you know what I tell to my my myself? Sweetie, don't cry. Stand up, walk back to the table. Where is the table? And painting out. And always when I start is like like that and the end up is something amazing, okay? So don't forget it. You are perfect and don't forget it. Love yourself. Even if you don't do I love you so much. Okay? Love you guys. Ciao.